Okay guys, so we'll just pick up where we uh, left off from before um, with our model. So what, I, what I've done just um, since last time is um, up here you can see you can name um, each of your models. Yours probably be called box001. Um, if you go over here, you can give it out your name, um, you know, to keep things clean and professional. So I've just called it facility. Seems to make sense to me. Um, but yeah, I call it something that makes sense. And what we're going to move on to now um, is this staircase. All right. So essentially, you can see what uh, these components are made up of. So the actual stairs themselves, it's just they're just boxes, aren't they? Um, so what we can do is go to our create panel, select another box, um, and over here we'll just create a sort of rectangular box. There you go, about there, which looks about the right size. So what I'm going to probably need to do is use my other views to make sure that looks about right. So I can see this is my top view, by the way. Um, sorry, is my parameter here? That probably needs to be a bit slimmer. Um, go to my side view. Okay, seems about fine. Maybe not quite so high. Yeah, that's fine. So once you're happy with the size of uh, the box for the step. Um, then you can start moving it into place. So you can see the first step is a little bit higher off, up off the ground. Um, so again, I'm going to use my side view to lift it a bit above the ground and move it back a bit like it is here. Okay, so that's about fine. I also want it to be moved up, not intersecting, but up against the building. Okay, that's great. So I've got one step, but obviously I need quite a few. So what I'm going to do, it's a nice quick, away, quick and easy way of doing this. If I go to my side view, make it full screen. I'm actually just conscious that this is a quite a dark color. You can't really see it very well. Make it a bit brighter. It's a bit better. Right, so this step, you can see this is the side view and there's the cutouts of my door and window. Um, to copy something, we do not use Control C and Control V to copy and paste something within 3D Studio Max. Okay, um, the way we want to do something is you need to hold down the Shift key, and then with the Gizmo, you click and drag, and you can see it's just taking another one with it. Okay, so the next step up is going to be about I don't know there. You'll notice that as soon as I've let go of the mouse and the shift key, uh, this clone options window comes up, gives us some options with um, copying. Now I could just do a copy and that will just make a copy of it. Um, and that's the end of it. That's fine. But what I actually want to do is create an instance uh, of the step. Now the difference between a copy and an instance is an instance is going to be if I make any changes to this object, it will apply to every single step. Okay, so if you ever want something duplicated that wants to remain the same as all the others, then you make an instance of it because in case you need to make a change, it's going to make that change to all of it. Okay, but if you make a copy, it will make duplicates, but you could you could go in and make changes and they would all be different. All right, it depends on what you need, but we want it to be an instance because we want every step to be the same. Um, number of copies, I don't know exactly how many it's going to take to get to the top there. It doesn't matter. I'm going to put that up to about 15 and push OK. That was a pretty good guess. You can see it's gone a bit higher than I needed to, but that's fine. I can just select and delete those ones that go off a bit. OK, so there I have my stairs. Let's go back to my perspective view and boom. I have some stairs on the side. Um, I mean, you can see on our reference image that the stairs go right to the top, and ours don't. All right, so if you want to have it exactly right, I could marquee select all of those ones and delete them. 
and just try again. Okay, so this time <clears throat> I'll go a bit higher and <clears throat> type in 15 again. Okay, that might be about right. So delete the ones that are going off. And yeah, that's about fine. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. What I might do is if I select all of them, I might just move it down very slightly and forward slightly. Okay, so there we go, steps. All right, so I've basically just made one step and copied it a whole bunch of times. Uh, but because they're instanced, if I was to change them, look, see, they all change, not just one of them, because they're an instance. Okay. Now what we need to make is um, see this sort of side piece to the stairs. Okay, so they're not just kind of floating there. Uh, so again, that is just going to be made from a box. So we're going to start at the bottom. Um, start by making just this uh, base piece here. So um, it's going to be around here and around there. Okay, so I'm going to need my move tool. So I need to move this up against the stairs there. Change my parameters because I want it to be a bit thinner. Okay. And probably about there is probably fine. Um, yeah, that'll be fine for now. So just make this box um, and put it into place there. So from here, it needs to extend quite far up like that. So what I'm going to do is I need to modify this beyond what I can do with the standard parameters. Okay, it was easy with the steps because they're just a box, but this is going to be a bit more difficult. So I'm going to have to convert it into an editable poly like I did with the main building. Let's go to edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut across there and I'm going to extrude and it's going to go off in sort of that direction. Um, in fact, actually, no, I can just do, don't need to do a cut. I'm just going to extrude from the back here. So just extrude it out. But obviously that's going to go flat across the ground. But that's fine because once I've extruded it, I can use my move tool to just pull it up like that. Look. Okay. But I'm going to need my side view to see what I'm doing a bit better. Because that needs to go the full length of the staircase. And again, we're just kind of eyeballing it here. So probably about there. Actually, it needs to go just to the top of that step, doesn't it? Okay, so we always have your reference image to hand. That'll be fine. Okay, um, then it just extrudes back out again. Okay. That's fine. But what you often find um, is that it looks a bit wonky and a bit crooked. All right. So we're going to have to go to the vertices. Um, and these need to be kind of at an angle. So if I move those like that, just like that. Basically, until these lines are a bit more parallel with each other, um, and it doesn't look all a bit weird. Seems fine. Should be fine. Again, it doesn't need to be perfect. Um, but it just needs to kind of look right. Obviously, when you get to this point, when you've got a few different um, models within your scene, um, all these colors make it look a bit weird. So um, often what I do is to select all of them and get everything to be the same color. OK, 
Okay, missed a couple. Um, makes it a bit easier to kind of follow. So you can see now um, my staircase is kind of taking shape a bit more. Um, it's hard to see around the back of what's going on um, with those stairs. So what I'll probably do is just get that end polygon and just leave it sort of like that. Okay. Um, the amount of detail that you put into your model kind of depends on um, where it's going to be seen from. So if this was for a game, for example, and you were able to sort of run around this whole building, run up the top here, and you, you could see around the back, then you're going to want to have to make sure there's detail there. Um, but if it wasn't, if it was just kind of um, from the side and you, you, you couldn't pan your camera around within the game and you could never see behind there, there's no point in putting all the detail behind it because you're never going to see it. All right. But that looks about right. And then what I've got here is I've got a um, kind of post that, that holds the staircase up. Um, I'm going to make that out of a cylinder. OK, so just get your cylinder this time. And do it like that. And then what you probably want to do is go to the top view and place it into the corner and turn down the radius a bit. Okay. Again, the height's probably way too high at the moment, so just put it down so it's intersecting into there. Change the color to keep it all uniform. And there we go. Okay, so just to recap on what we've done, um, we just created one individual step and we copied it, uh, well, we instanced it a number of times um, so that if we wanted to change the width of those stairs, for example, we could do it nice and easily um, without having to, to redo all the copying and pasting. Um, and then we created the side detailing of the staircase, um, again, just from a box, um, making an extrusion, doing a bit of moving, um, uh, to get it all into place. Okay, so again, we've created all of this still from using just the connect and the extrude tools. All right, so make sure you're happy with that. Um, if you're not, obviously, if you're not working as quickly as I am, don't feel discouraged. You know, it takes a while to um, um, to get used to everything. Um, but yeah, once you're happy with what you've got here, um, you might want to go in and rename some of these bits. So I'm going to rename the cylinder. Uh, don't know, just call it post. Something that you know what it is. And then if you've got lots of things, so I'm not going to rename 15 of those, you know, 15 times. So highlight them all. Um, so hold one, hold shift, and select the top one. Right click, and uh, you should be able to it's a rename. Yeah, I'll give you a base name. So the base name just got a step. Uh, prefix. Okay. Maybe we need it numbered. Yeah, okay. There we go. That's fine. So then we've got step 0 to 15, which is fine. OK, so we know what's what. Great, make sure we save that, um, and then we can move on to the next one.